If I went for a walk with God, and I would turn to him and would say to him, what are you longing for? He would tell me the same thing every time we would meet. What is he longing for? He is longing to be in relationship with the people that he's created and loves, and he wishes to spend eternity with them. That would never change. His longing is defined and settled. And if I turned to him and I would say, God, what is it that you're prepared to sacrifice and give and invest today so that that future longing can come to be true? And he would turn to me and say, I've already done it. I've given my most precious thing. I've given my one and only son, Jesus, who came to earth to remind the people that I love so much of my love that they would choose to follow me. The invitation still stands for us this day. He has a longing. He has made the investment. In fact, save all you can is a perfect byline for God. Save all you can. And I'm confronted by his story. And I want to align my life story more with his. I want my longings to be more in line with his. I want my investment, my saving all you can to match or to be of the same spirit of what he has modeled for me. So when it comes to our longings, can I invite us, can I invite myself again to be discerning and to be deliberate in our choices and to be careful with our longings so that when we commit to the process of save all we can, that it's about something that carries value beyond something that's temporary and fleeting.